This is eSports! You think eSports? This is FTC! Hey, everybody. It is a bright, beautiful, and sunny day here in Chicago, Illinois. My name is Kai, and I am joined by Duck Aider here for One More Ones 2021. It's going to be some kind of day. Yeah, it is. I cannot <laughs> wait. Commentating this online tournament offline. That's crazy. Who thought of this? <laughs> It's like, it's like what? It's, I seem to remember in the distant past, we used to gather in person to do these events, and it sort of feels like that. I'm very excited. It's I'm very, very excited. similar. It's as close as we can get right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we got lots of exciting matches coming up. We got Elder Taluda in-house right here, playing not even five feet away from us. <laughs> and he's going to be playing someone halfway across the world, for all I know. Yes, we've actually got the uh, the hybrid set up. We've got Elder Saluda right over there about to play somebody online. That's nuts. But the fact is, we've got an incredible team here led by Callisto putting on this program. So big ups to everybody who set us on this path, including the people at Hidden Variable and over at Autumn for making this all possible. This is going to be some day. I I'm actually really excited. My, my, mm. my emotions are peaked right now. We haven't even started yet. I could start <laughs> crying at any second from all the positivity. But yeah, definitely big shout to Callisto for making this all happen. The kind of technical knowledge you have to have to have this kind of whole offline setup for an online tournament is insane. <sighs> yeah, I mean, but anybody who knows anybody knows that Callisto has been down for Skullgirls for years. Oh, here comes Saluda, stepping beginning. up to the plate, oh stepping up God. to the PC alone, oh facing gosh. his invisible opponent. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, let's go Saluda. Of course, I got a root for Taluda. He's right here in front of me, so he's the favorite to win in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing as he's the only one I see, I, I imagine he's got to win, right? It has he's got to win. That's how it works. No, but Taluda definitely is one of those players that you say, man, you've got to be really good to beat Elder mm -hmm. Taluda. Whether you are from the old or new school, Taluda is no slouch, so you better bring your top game. Now, but as we've seen in some of the past HECS events and even events during the pandemic, absolutely beatable online, right? He's mm -hmm. one of those players that if you are bringing your top, top game, you can be beaten. But I mean, not by me. <laughs> not by me. It's possible, but it's, it's possible. Just, it it's kind of hard. Right, in the same way that, like, you know, leaping 10 foot in the air is technically humanly possible, right? It's within the bounds of physics. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean it's going to happen, right? <laughs> so let's see how this one Maybe goes. Maybe try high. Right? <laughs> you practice for years just to get that high, and that's how high you need to get to clear the hurdle that is Elder Tuluda's mm -hmm. uh, mighty setup. So one thing I love about Tuluda is that he's such an expressive pain the player. Definitely. Right? So he, when it comes down to the wire, I mean, this man's cerebellum will eat you alive, but... On the front end, you've got a really strong pain wheel. And anybody that plays pain wheel is getting respect from me because that's mm -hmm. not an easy character to make work. When I think of pain wheel, I think of Tallulah first before anyone else. So if you're ever uh, an aspiring pain wheel player, this is the person to watch. So if you're watching on stream right now, pay attention. I'm about to see some amazing stuff. Yes, and you'll see, so he, as part of his combos and conversions, he uses one of my favorite moves in all of Skogum. It's been there since the beginning. It's the double jump medium kick fly conversion to get you down and restand on the ground. It's, it's kick, fly, kick, fly into something. And it, it's just such a thing. It's one of those little quirks that I think makes fighting games oh. beautiful, right? When you talk about, you know, the, the little quirks that come with a character to make them possible. Mm -hmm. I love that that's even a thing you have to do, right? It's not simple. It's not easy. But you just have to do it until the character, the players learn it, and it's really fun. And it's always satisfying when you see a pain wheel player just land that. Yes. Every single time. I've seen that hundreds of thousands of times by now, probably. And I still respect the pain wheel player for hitting it. Yeah, it's it's like... Oh, the Magic Mouse is tight. It's like a clean slap across the face. That loud clap sound just is <laughs> is so satisfying. And here we go. First match. Uh, so we're playing against Draco, playing Squiggly, Cerebella right now. And immediately gets hit. No conversion, though. <laughs> They're playing kind of safe. They're testing the wires here. This is an online tournament after all. Oh, bad side nice. of Nice. Cancel into MK. Love it. So and where's the reset go. here? Oh, the Just throw. throw. You never expect throw when you're playing against a pain wheel player. They're always uh, going for those highs, those fly cancels. And he uses the throw uh, assist a lot. <laughs> That's one fun thing about that. That's something I always forget about to do. Is he uses that assist. <laughs> Sometimes I just see pain wheel coming on screen and it's like, what is this assist? And I get thrown. Okay, so Draco, oh. we're, we're seeing some of Draco's daylight that he needs right here. We're seeing a few drops from Saluda. Maybe being oh, slightly no. out of practice. Oh, oh falls no. right into it. Bad calling that quickly. Just, wow, that was <laughs> so much is happening on the screen right now. <laughs> oh, okay. 
got messed up. <laughs> got a little bit too greedy. That reset wasn't uh wasn't exactly safe there. Pain wheel could be dead. Jago oh. to the AC, but kind of messed that up. Give me a drop combo for Javico instead. All right. All right. No so, drops there. No drops there. Fluid is coming in with five bars. All of his characters left, so this is looking kind of over. I guess. Oh! Oh! Ooh! All right. I thought there was a done deal. More already. victory achieved. Yes. Right, one got a character, character down. That's that pain wheel. All right. Here's the comeback. <laughs> You can't count out uh, Fluda's yeah, squiggly. fortune, for sure. Yeah, Squiggly is, is a monster on the combat game, but man, oh! the fortune is Just sick. got caught. All right, I expect a level 3 from Saluda. I can see him matching the buttons right Bro, here. I'm looking at his it. hands go in for person. It. Go for it! <laughs> oh. Okay. Nice not burst. Hey! Oh! Oh, no! Use it, use it, Saluda, super, what are you super. doing? Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Right, joke, joke, got joke, me joke, a little joke. nervous. <laughs> the first game, gotta calm down here. <laughs> oh man! All right, so there's a couple things we saw in that match, right? Mm -hmm. So Toluda had a few drops that are uncharacteristic for what we know of his best play ever, which means he one may be a little bit rusty. Not, not, not super weird to think he might be a little this rusty. This is the very first game of the tournament. Right, first game of the tournament. He's little. coming in cold. Who will and here's the second game. Right. Coming up right now. There were a few opportunities where the resets were just, they have one move behind which you thought they'd come in. I think that was just pure miss right there. Yeah, he was just messing up the, the fly and cancel resets there. Oh! They go through with that fortune assist. It's very hard to combo off of, but it still is a good tool to just get them off you. Ooh, easy assist! Alright. Oh, nice patience from Draco there. Oh, no conversion! That, that's, yeah, no conversion. That's uncharacteristic. Yeah. For sure. Everyone gets hit by that 30 frame overhead. It's gonna happen at least once or twice here. And no meter, very nice. Yeah, has been doing it. Toluda's been doing a good job of saving his meter. We are playing on Callisto's account. Overhead! Oh, level three! Nice fly! Save? No. Yeah, <laughs> wow! Toluda's a genius! You've been snatched, sir. Into level three, gonna combo off this. Gonna I almost thought that would jump. Oh no, what was that? Oh no! Uh oh! Who's gonna calm down right here? Hey, we finished combos! <laughs> Not quite full on this, but what are you gonna do? I feel like at that point you should have gone for some kind of reset. But. Oh! Okay. Nice in the corner. Hard knockdown. Just got hit by Stan. Oh, oh, it's right, a little bit sloppy right here. We are playing online. <laughs> Saluda unfazed. Look at that, that as, face as, right there. Yeah, anybody knows Saluda knows he is highly emotional right now for his sinners. <laughs> 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 one, one, one. This is him really losing composure, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Draco is not doing a, too bad, though. No, Draco is Draco's Draco's killing some characters. First of all, finish a combo. Get, mm -hmm. Even getting this, get a combo. Let's not undersell. This is Elvis Luda. Mm -hmm. You don't just hit Elvis Luda for free. <laughs> oh, no. Not looking too good right now, though. No. I don't Drake think Drake could, uh... telling the story. <laughs> Squiggly's already dead, unless Sula drops this somehow. Okay. Alright. Didn't drop it. Actually finished the combo. Alright. Here comes the Sarah uh -oh. Bell. That's gonna be huge, is what I would say. Not happening. Nice block All right, so Luda. we got enough meter that we're looking at one reset here. If it's early, we're not. All right, we're taking this combo. Saluda might just go for the damage here. Oh, yes, there okay. It is. <laughs> and that's enough. That was a nice push block, a bait right there. Came with those charged normals. No, oh, wow. Them. He had oh. a lot of room left. I guess he just didn't uh, know what to do. Hey, and Saluda takes it. Man, First what? Thing. You can hear what? the audience. That's, that's so weird. What is that sound? <laughs> yeah, really. Is, is that. What, what happened? I forgot what that even sounded like. <laughs> All right, so we're coming out of that one. I think a very expected one. When you have when mm -hmm. you have any player that you don't know has beaten Elvis Luda before, you kind of have to assume Elvis Luda's yeah, going to take it. Yeah, it's pretty rare. So th that one was entirely, entirely expected. Yeah. Um, so one well, cool thing, we're going to have a uh, third commentator joining us here in just a second. That's mm -hmm. very exciting news. The Elvis Luda match that we oh. just saw. <laughs> we got the cat cam. That's the most exciting news very of all. Very nice. Look so, at that cat. That has a live camera feed. I don't know if you can tell. As you can the see, cat's not moving very yeah, much. Still working out the details of Willie's rider to see oh. if he will um, fully participate. But definitely awesome to see Willie show up today. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> so we just saw Willie eat lunch and go right back to the event. Right back to the event. So that's that's really that's the standard you all should be adhering to. Eat food immediately. Come back to the stream mm -hmm. and no other breaks at all. Hold it. <laughs> so what do you think about El Toulouse's performance in that one? Did he show out or did he uh, disappoint? I won three zero. What kind of question is that? <laughs> So I, I definitely like what we saw in the corner with he used the overhead charge several times to mm. great success. You got to watch out for that from any painful player worth their salt. Um, a couple drops that were a little bit like not what you'd expect to see, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, he's going to tighten that up when he gets up to the tougher opponents later. But as, as he gets warmer throughout the day, you'll start to see that coming together. Yeah, especially with longer tournaments, you really just kind of want to go on autopilot for the first few, especially when you know... Uh, it's seated correctly, probably not running into players. You have to worry too much about it. You don't have to sweat too much. Yeah. You got to maintain that mental fortitude throughout the entire event. So if you're, a few drops here and there, especially in the early rounds, are just fine. Dropping knowledge, folks, by the way, Duckator is a past top Skullgirls performer and has been top in a lot of different games. We're talking about somebody who understands what it means to actually go through an entire bracket. He's right. You can't put all your mental effort in those first matches because you've got like four hours you've got to play you this gotta video game. you got to pace yourself for sure. you got to pace yourself. Exactly. The, it's, it's about the marathon, mm -hmm. not the sprint, right? Yeah, especially <laughs> when it comes to tournaments. It's a lot different than uh, just playing online against random people. <laughs> it, it takes a completely different mindset here. you got to plan ahead. you got to know what's coming up. And I think every player in this room that has entered this tournament has done so. At least I hope so. I don't expect to. <laughs> well, that's kind of an interesting thing. Is right now we're going to have several matches that are going to be peep participants inside the house with an audience like ooing and eyeing and mm. clapping, and then they're going to be playing somebody at the house who's just got you know their mom telling them to take out the garbage. <laughs> right? It's a completely different dynamic. You know, like Steven, <laughs> come out and get the garbage. I think that dynamic is going to come into play in this tournament for sure. <laughs> I know, like me personally. Having the audience there, like, helps me so much. Especially when they're ruined against me. <laughs> <laughs> when you're the villain? <laughs> so it's really cool that, like, you've actually got people giving you that real-time feedback. Like, when they clapped, I literally was taken aback. I was like, whoa. Whoa, that's a, that's a thing that I remember when people get hype in person. The energy level here is, is there's a, we got about 20 people stuffed in this basement, and the energy level is really, really awesome. Mm. It's it's making me feel some kind of way. I got to be completely honest. It's so, so cool to have this again. I hope we can get a crowd cam or, or possibly just show or just share some pictures on the old um, tweeter <laughs> um, and just let you guys know what we got here. It's really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's yeah, the there crowd. we go. Hey. All right. <laughs> there is the audience cam. For there are a few more people the, off camera. The stands, you just got to take our word were. for it. There are a lot of people <laughs> stuffed in this basement. Man, but, yeah. but I'll admit, you saw on that audience cam and right behind us, we got incredible art. Do not forget to go and spend your entire paycheck on this merchandise. Yeah, if you right have there. to talk to your landlord, let them know that and that system is inequitable and not fair. And you shan't be participating in it, but instead have spent all your money on this incredible Skullgirls merchandise. There is the most important character surrounded by several other characters <laughs> of, of tertiary importance. <laughs> Uh, I, I think this is something you hang on your wall, and it does the opposite of most anime wall scrolls. In fact, <laughs> you will get dates based on this merchandise. <laughs> I don't have to say that. I can't <laughs> confirm or deny anything said there. <laughs> but yes, please do. It's really cool that um, everybody who organized this event made sure that there was top tier art right there. We're talking about stuff that you won't be able to get anywhere else and is on par with the game's quality. This is really stuff that everybody put a lot of heart and soul into from the mm -hmm. artists, the organizers. That when you go out and you buy a t-shirt, you buy a, a, a poster, you do whatever, you're really saying that you support this kind of event, right? You, this kind of hype event where we're getting back into the swing of things. It only helps, right? So please, if you've ever had an inkling to buy merch, you haven't done it, maybe this is the one, right? Maybe this is the one. Now I, is the time. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm definitely copying a couple of these things. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about... Um, how we're gonna how we're gonna get in this next match? Uh, mm -hmm. I think we maybe run an ad break here shortly. Just take a, a tiny little break, and then after that, we'll be coming back to you with some more action. Yeah, we're just waiting on the players. Online yeah. tournaments. Yeah, it, like it you is. Said, they're not here. We can't yell at them yeah. to come exactly. to the stream. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> We, we, we can't be like Cloud Strife 4 2069, show up to pool B. <laughs> this is, we, we have yeah, to actually, we got to message him on Discord. Well, we got Adivas, 
Coming yes. up. Yes. Oh, we got a Divas. Versus uh, Iron Black, I think. Yes. Dude, a Divas. So, speaking of another standard of the era, you always love to see a Divas come mm -hmm. through right now. So, a Divas has not been super participatory. In the SGCS, right? So you haven't seen a lot of the recent online tournaments having Adivas' name pop up. Mm -hmm. But I think either um, they've been big chilling, or in the hyper hyperbolic time chamber training. Either way, it's it's incredible to see them back on camera. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen Adivas in a tournament, and I don't even know how long. Yeah, it's I mean, been so long. <laughs> I want to say it's it's the last time I met up with everybody was Frosty. 2020 mm. and that was probably the last time i even saw a divas it's been so long since i've seen some of these people's faces that i mean the pure joy <laughs> when you get to just look them in their ocular nerves is is incredible so a divas is really going to show it right now and i'm extremely excited about that mm. um yeah so let's uh let's take a look at what we got here we got uh, iron black who i'm not as familiar with but is going to be a mexican player Ooh. right so a divas is local boy right mm -hmm. he's riding for Illinois, he comes out to all the local tournaments, whether it's Combo Breaker, Frosty, or some of the tertiary ones surrounding those events. Adivas is always standby, really cool dude, and he just brings the energy up and makes the room awesome, because he's a really good player. The Iron Black is going to have to be pretty damn good to beat Adivas. Well, I'm excited to see how Iron Black plays. I've never heard of this player. Mexico scene in general is just not that well known, so who knows? Iron Black could be an amazing scholarly player that we've just never heard of before. This is true. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time that we've had a player from the uh, uh, a North American or Latin American scene that has really surprised, mm -hmm. right? I mean, there have been several players throughout the history of Skullgirls that have been uh, very nearly hidden gods. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I think there's been a couple of names way back in the day um, that were really, like, I remember Sage. I can't even remember the player's name now. Maybe you can help me out with this one, Doug. There's a player from uh, Mexico who Sage was like, yeah, that guy is definitely like a hidden god. All right, the only like uh, Mexican player from back then that I could think of as a hidden god is probably Uzu. Yes. Was it Uzu? It was Uzu. Hey, Uz <laughs> who yeah. else would it be? It would, of course it would be <laughs> Uzu. And Uzu was really, really good. And it would just be, you're never going to see him in person because he's, he's yeah, chilling. Unfortunately, he could never make it to a tournament. Yeah. And uh, that time has kind of passed. They don't really play <laughs> Skullgirls anymore, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, back in the day, Uzu was the one to watch. Yeah. Maybe Iron God is the one to, or Iron Black is the one to watch now. Maybe Iron Black is the next generation. <laughs> Maybe he is the, the passing of the mantle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe this is what we're looking at here. It have to be that it have to be the case to be the Divas because I think Divas is really going to bring it. Mm -hmm. But Iron Black always has a chance. That's what I love about Skullgirls. Skullgirls is such a free game. It's a, such a game with a lot of freedom in how you choose to play it. Definitely. And even though there's those, there's your BNBs, there's your key moves, there's the ways you want to use assists. Everybody has the way they implement those things. It's not like, you know, it's not a canned game. You know, I'm yeah, not saying, yeah. I don't want to name any names. <laughs> I'm just saying it's not a canned game where you've got what you got to do and that's all you have, right? The expansiveness of Skullgirls is what I really love to see in the individual players. Mm -hmm. Skullgirls is the type of game where even if you don't have any player names on screen, if you just see uh, someone playing that character, you just know it's them because the way they play. The game allows you to do that, and that's something I really like about this. Yeah, and I, I think one of the things. Oh, <laughs> that's a red ping. That's like I mean, we twenty thousand ping. <laughs> we are reaching all the way into the Yucatan. <laughs> Hey, Illinois to Mexico is going to be a little bit long. Let's hope that doesn't affect things too much. Yeah, we are we are stretching the limits mm -hmm. of the internet. <laughs> we got Adivas, classic Parasol, Big Band, and Squiggly there. Yeah, so Adivas' Parasol is definitely meme quality. Like, I, mm -hmm. I, I, I definitely mess with the, uh, the Parasol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And yeah. the good thing about really good players is you say, oh, I associate it with that character. And then mm -hmm. the other characters are like 99% as good yeah. as that. They're just as good. Adivas is one of those players. Which so we're going to see some The crazy character stuff. you see the most often because that yeah. character rarely dies. <laughs> oh, man. With three on three, we're going to see some life bars explode. Mm -hmm. Especially with a big fan on screen. <laughs> You're only one as his jam away from disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Having some trouble getting in right here. Adivas is so good at keeping you out. Yeah, not afraid to, to shoot distance across state lines. <laughs> oh, no. Wait for a reset, got blocked, got All mashed right. out, and Iron Black is making something Iron happen. Iron Black, are you real? Are you a real player? Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, nice block. Iron Black Why? knows how to work around this Adidas uh -oh. stuff. Oh, there's the punish. Very nice. 
Kind of a strange job, but a demon got him in the corner. Where's the reason it can be? Oh, double overhead. This fortune is done. Oh, actually blocked it. How did you block it? Okay, that? Iron Black knows what's up. Whoa! They know what's going to happen. Got the happy birthday. All right, Can so we go got for the, the meter. snap? Or oh, just go no! for the kill? Oh, that's not what you Big needed. Drop. To be completely honest, you should have just gone for the snap immediately. Mm -hmm. Just light medium and a snap. So in online tournaments, sometimes you gotta simplify your stuff. Yes. Especially with a connection like this. Yeah, not I saying say, it's that's bad, I'm saying it's I'm, fine. I'm just, I'm just saying, we all saw the color of the connection. <laughs> it was, in fact, Ross. There were at least five digits on that ping screen right there. <laughs> right. So, you know, it's right. gonna be a little bit tough. It's not like a salary, you don't want more digits. <laughs> Oh, okay, all down to the Anchor Valentine. I didn't even notice that before. Iron Black playing Anchor Val, not a character you associate with being in the back like that. All right, moral victory incoming. Let's do it. Don't drop this combo and spend the meter. Trying to build as much meter as possible for this level five, I'm assuming. Switching sides, get the burst bait, and tags into Big Man. That's something you can do. Are you going to keep it safe? Iron Black refuses to spend that meter. Trying I'm to go for that level five. I'm not going to do it. And going to get killed for that. Probably could have killed Parasol when she was on screen as an assistant. But that level 5 was too important. I guess. You hate to see it. You hate to go down with a rainbow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but a Diva staying strong. That was actually a really uh, strong early start from Iron Black. Mm -hmm. Saying, yeah, I know a Divas. I don't care. <laughs> don't you know me? I'm Iron Black. Iron Black blocked a lot of mix-ups. I did not expect Iron Black uh, to block. No. Like, I, he clearly has studied this matchup and knows what's up. Yeah, he has looked the at the bracket exactly. in advance and knows the kind of characters he's going to be playing against. Uh, I'm not sure if that was an intentional one that just didn't work out or if that Ooh. was a, a miscalculated reset opportunity. Possibly. It's hard to tell sometimes. Yes. Sometimes it's oh. so big brain you don't even oh, know if it was intentional. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. And the reset load did not nice work block. out. Goes through the armor, not enough. Too far away. Yeah, Divas is so good with that spacing right there. Knew exactly where to stand for that not to get hit. The science hurt. And that's it. So has tons of Undizzy left to work with, too. All right, going back to respectful neutral. <laughs> Fortune can just kind of run under those sometimes. Slide under, too. That's a weird oh, snap. Don't mess it up! No, it didn't go for the snap again. The snap Two again. snap opportunities from Iron Black. That's not the double snap you wanted. You messed up both of them. I guess he just really wants to save that meter. <laughs> I can't think of any other reason why you just wouldn't go for a snap well, immediately. I, I hear if you put that meter in the IRA Roth, it can mature <laughs> over time and you can spend it uh, at a later date. Well, he's about to get five whole bars right here. Can't get much more than that. So will he go for the level five? No, I'm gonna go for some reset. Valentine by herself without an assist. Ooh! And the conversion, of course, we convert off those into the meters. Tons of meter, you need to and spend that's it. That's it, level three. Go to town. Cancel at the very last second for optimal damage. <laughs> Style. <laughs> <laughs> I think if Iron Black just spent a bar or two, that he was, might win. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, if, if, you, if you stop trying to save it for oh. a rainy day and stop putting it in the high just yield. Use it. Just It'll use it. It'll come back. It. Just use it. And that's the thing. You, when you're playing, I mean, especially against this kind of caliber of player, you have to know that when you get a hit, he he went into a heavy, and a heavy mm. worked. From that heavy, you should have been thinking, just immediately snap. do it. The, the heavy was enough time to confirm now, what you're doing. I think Iron Black's fortune was doing just fine. I'm not sure what the switch with Eliza is about. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it wasn't the character. Let's, mm -hmm. let's be clear. It was some. He got some the hits he needed with fortune. It just didn't convert. No. Didn't snap. Didn't happen. Yeah. I think Eliza Parasol is a much worse matchup than Fortune Parasol. So uh, he's just more comfortable with this character. Nice. Can we look at one more reset here? Oh, nope. try to go for a burst fade, I think. A little trickiness. Valentine's oh. uh, tag is surprisingly safe, so that was. Yeah, I was gonna say it almost looks like a punish, but you're right. It's very, very safe. It's something you have to lab out to just know how to how to punish that right now. Doesn't seem to have helped though. Valentine's getting hit. All right, and he's out. Hi, Val Parasol is like a pretty even matchup. So, yeah, a lot if of Iron Black's gonna sets. get in, this is the time to do it. All right, you spent the bar. All right, so you spent the bar. Assist for a little, little bit. A little bit of damage there. Didn't do too much though. Oh, can't oh, block forever. Oh, tag. All right. Bird. 
He has tagged into every single one of his characters <laughs> so far. <laughs> All right, gonna be building plenty of meter here on both sides. Nothing oh. on the reset. Oh, gets hit. Oh. Nothing. Oh. oh, big moment. Big moment. You need to spend the meter to get the kill right here. Can this be the ah! first game? No. Ah, and Vlad gets. refuses he to gets. finish a combo and kill it. Oh, the bike to catch the skeleton. This is a Halloween stream after all. It's supposed to be spooky, <laughs> but no skeletons allowed. Says it even. Oh man. Oh, nice block. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Every time. Nice, oh, nice, nice conversion. That was nice conversion. conversion. And you build about five meters, get that character back. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Iron Black has had five meters oh, oh, plenty of times no. here. Oh, the SSJ does what the SSJ does. And very smart of Adivas to cancel right into super there, knowing that that wouldn't hit. All right, five bars. No Valentine level five to do anything with though. Oh, Parasol is dead. Adivas is not paying attention. All right, it's gonna be a block. The orb's nice, on screen. Nice. East the orb. I expect to see a level three from Iron Black. Just run up level three. Just run up level three. Or do that. That works too. Gonna spend the bar, get a little bit of damage here. But can't <laughs> get too much off this. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh. 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 Nice take, your friend. From right. whence we came. And that should be it. Adiva's not gonna drop that combo. No. No. And we got All the class. Right. We got the All whole right. crowd. All right. Getting a little stretch on. <laughs> that was a good match. That was a good match. <laughs> so, I mean, it, what is what is this year about except spend the meter? Yeah, I feel really. like I've said that so many times <laughs> this year. All throughout these online tournaments and now through this one too. Spend the meter. There's a couple key moments in there where double snaps were possible mm. but not achieved because they said, oh, you know, I'm going to finish this one. I'm going to finish it, then to do it at the end. That would be the most optimal thing. But perhaps most optimal is not what you should yeah, do. You don't always want to be optimal no. in a tournament setting. Sometimes you just got to keep it simple. Just yeah. do what works. Yeah. Uh, you, you're talking about calculated risk and calculated decisions, right? In every situation, you got to be able to recognize what you want to do to get the most out of it. And snapping early would have been just fine. There wasn't actually that much room to go with him. And you have Big Man, you always know he's going to push yeah. you out of range to get that snap. You've got to do it when it's available. Don't chance the Big Man involved double snap. It's not going to go your way. Big Man does that. You just got to snap at the earliest possible moment. But in tournaments, sometimes you just have to have two sets of combos. One for when you're just messing around, playing long sets, trying to be optimal as you can. And another set for when you're playing in a high pressure situation, such as this. Yeah. Something that you can just do with your eyes closed. You right. can do it without thinking. And we got another game. All right. We got an online match. There's no one sitting at the We got uh, the match and right Flame. Here. Flame, flame money? Flame Tarash cash? From Illinois, but not in this room right now. <laughs> and flame from New Jersey. Got some cerebellum here. Oh, Ooh. nice conversion. Terrasque with the fancy stuff. Oh, behind you. And that should be it for flame cerebellum. Gotta spend. Got to spend. See, Terrasque will spend the meter. Terrasque will spend it. <laughs> Terrasque is not a financial planner. He'll just spend it. <laughs> so, if you are below one bar in this game, you actually build meter faster because you can whip buttons and uh, build meter to whip buttons and whip normal and whatnot. Exactly. So, uh, spending meter gets you meter back faster. Exactly. You gotta spend money to make money, as they say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, very nice. Using the armor to punch through it, put him in the corner. Okay, big man in the corner. Oh! You gotta be careful. Just says no to that drop kick. Alright, chest playing very safe, just playing the assist to all the work, and it's working out. Oh! I don't think that's a comeback, but. No, no, no. no. Had, a, had no, a, maybe no, no, no. a chance. Maybe <laughs> something could have happened there, but nah. Chess takes it. I mean, that was pretty That was pretty fast, mm -hmm. to be honest. That was, that was pretty fast, and Tarask told the story of that match by basically playing it cool, calm, and collected. I'm gonna call my assist, you are gonna get blown <laughs> up, and I am going to big chill. What was that big man assist? <laughs> yes. It is big, it does have armor, so I might as well just throw it out there. Especially when uh, Flame was down on there. 
That's his character. Yeah, and that, that's one of those things. You just got to be calm. Look at and, that. Yeah. Big Ben lost Exploded. half his life already. Explode. Oh, get <laughs> oh, out. There's the snap. Get out. I want your red light. Tarask is doing what every player we have seen so far has not. To snap. Tarask is spending all their meter. He robbed mm -hmm. their meter bank and is spending his time. Armor is right through that and beats the tag. Is he going to say get out again? Uh, characters don't have too much red light. And I think when Big Bang comes in, he's going to die anyway, so I would <laughs> right. say it's worth it. Right. Nice. Don't even need to reset here to get the mm -hmm. kill. Just a random DP from Flame. I think that was supposed to be a fireball, but he was dashed up forward first. And that can kind of mess uh, up your input. That might have been a run cancel drop there. I'm not sure. And Big Bang explodes. Good night. 2,000 points. That's what oh. really counts. All down to the server. Oh, almost had something going there. But not quite. Like, that's not going to work out there. I don't think that pedigree is going to work on Tarask. Oh, goes to the wrong command grab. Oh! <laughs> and that's it. You are negativo after getting blasted by Lock and Live. You do mm -hmm. not want to be after that. <laughs> wow, that oh. was like two games in the span of a whole minute. <laughs> I know, we, we, we're rolling through this Breakneck one. Breakneck pace. Yes, yeah, so this, one one. this one's a little bit of a skill mismatch where Tarask seems to be much more aware of how to patiently play, whereas mm -hmm. Flame is betting it all every single time. And that's not working out for Flame. Hey, sometimes you just got to roll the dice and hope it works. Right. Not really working out right now, it's, though. But It's not it's really working, <laughs> but maybe one more pull of it the old might slots work. and we're going to pay out. I can feel it. This machine's oh, getting hot. Actually got a hit. Flame doing Finish something right now. Finish the combo. Finish that combo. Show me you got reset it. Coming up soon. There's the run reset that he dropped last time into full combo conversion. Hey, it's real. Can I spend the DHC? No. All right. Gonna go for the burst bait, get the armor. Still in the corner, great situation, except that happened, so it's not too good anymore. I guess a full combo of this, look at that. Ooh. Full combo oh. of mid screen super. And the reset's gonna spell disaster. And do it again. That's it. <laughs> yep. I didn't think that would kill. Yep, so life leads firmly into Rask's arena, and mm -hmm. so much life. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no, no! That's not gonna save you! I guess Flame just wants to save Annie for that. I can understand that. Sometimes you gotta spend the meter to just say, here's oh, my preference. Oh, throws out of nowhere. Flame making something happen. Flame might actually at least take a character here. Yo. Yo, the reset. Oh, oh no. no. Drop. All right, Big Van Mirror. Flame real safe. Oh. oh. That crouch <laughs> leg punch has so many hits. You can't Triangles run through that. right through it. Who would, who could have guessed? <laughs> All down to Annie. If any character can do it, it's Annie. Yo, we Got the rolling. big, heavy counter hit. You know, the counter hit combo, so. Oh! oh! Blasted! Are you just still killing? That move is good, but not in that, not, not that situation, no. Not that <laughs> You can't reach that high. It's not going to take out the satellite. <laughs> and that's it for playing. Oh, Tarras takes it. That was a little bit more... Wow, well, he hits him with the Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I got for you. You're a clown. You're a clown. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was a little bit better in that third round. Uh, Flame definitely finished a combo. Mm -hmm. He even had a reset that worked out for him. But, I, I mean, overall, Tarras was much too strong for uh, Flame dollar sign to uh, deal with. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Flame just should have played a little bit safer. Because he got hit by that one uh, super from Cerebella and the whole game was over. Yeah, it but we just baited that out. Just was had a wrap. To play a little bit safe. Was a wrap. No minute. So I mean, the things that Tarask did really well was get patience and and willingness to just Spend not it. overcommit. And I would it. say spending the meter every single time was to their benefit. Mm -hmm. There was a situation when kills could be achieved, snaps could be had, red life could be depleted, mm -hmm. and every one of those situations, Tarask was doing a really good job of recognizing that. So I, I would say even though the skill differential may not have been quite as drastic as initially thought, it really was the awareness of what to do in every given situation that spelled success for Tarask in pretty much every call. Every call seemed to be the right call. Yeah. There's a lot of things to think about in Skullgirl, though. A lot of stuff to pay attention to. And it can be hard and kind of hard to manage all that. But Tarask showed a fantastic job of doing yeah, and that, All of that, that right there. And that, that, I mean, pillar of creation there, that's a really good symbol of the difference between knowing what's going to be a good mm -hmm. decision in any given situation. Flame was betting it all on maybe this will work. 
But Tarask, when he would spend, when he, when they would make decisions about things, it was because they knew that mm -hmm. thing was going to be the thing to do in the moment. Yeah, you can really see the difference in that one clip right there. All right, we got our next match. Got Zenon uh, from Illinois. Yep. And Ninja Please. Yeah, so these are t two players that I am aware of. I mean, Zenon is is from here. I mean, he, he's been to my house when we were <laughs> on the locals there. You know, some some years back. Uh, so I, I've known Zenon actively. I think Zenon and Ninja is going to be a pretty good matchup. I haven't been keeping as good a track of, of Ninja in in their play recently, so I don't know. Ninja could either be a, like a lot of players on a little bit of a rusty downturn, or could have been staying warm this whole time and has even maybe even gotten better. Awesome. Not sure. Not sure. I think it's going to be interesting to see. Um, hmm. Based on being in-house, I'm throwing off my lot behind Zenon. That's who I want to win Zenin. in this one. Zenon is right there. It's right there. <laughs> right there. Oh, no, I changed my mind. Zenon, he's not winning this. <laughs> Zenon is the man, and I think absolutely can take this one. I'm, I'm rooting for Zenon, even though I like Ninja a lot. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to go with the in town, in room, hometown hero. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I right. wouldn't count Ninja out, though. No, absolutely not. Ninja, Ninja has been playing for a long time, and mm -hmm. is one of those players that just through the accumulated experience is always going to be dangerous. Uh, you've got to, again, be pretty good to just say, nah. Yeah, I got this. Like you, you can't say that. Again. So let's see what we got with the with the character picks. I think this this might be. I got no with the emotional support here. Yes, we we we've, <laughs> we've got absolutely. We've got emotional support in the house. Big ups. So yeah, but check those check those posters in the background. You yeah. see that artwork? We have even Look more at the, artwork on all the side. That, all that art from the 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 Marvel reference mint. Check that out. The beautiful showgirl showing off this artwork over there. Gotta love it. Mm -hmm. It's really all about the skeleton eye candy. too. Can't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's pretty sick that we got all this stuff. Remember to check out that store at the One More Once merch store. It's uh, all the tweets that Skullgirls and various people have retweeted. We'll have those links in them. Mm -hmm. Please check it out if you're in the Discord. Of course, all that information is freely Absolutely. available. I got this art right here in case in you missed it. There, <laughs> yes, it's pretty fantastic. I mm -hmm. think I will be grabbing both of these. Definitely this one. If I had to pick, if I, if I could, if I had to kill one of these and marry the other one, <laughs> I would marry this one and kill that one. But if I'm, I'm probably gonna pick them both up. And then any of the alternative ones we have over there in the crowd, I think I'm also gonna try to pick up. Mm -hmm. Not to mention a buku bucks worth of shirts and other merch right there. Who knows what's tons of stuff. It's it's really kind of incredible how much unique merchandise exists for this event, which just speaks to the fact that you should blow all your cash. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you can afford it, sure. <laughs> Even if you can't afford it, I really do recommend it. <laughs> so let's see who we got here. We got Xenon stepping up. No coaching right there. Now that is an advantage. Uh, people <laughs> in-house in right now <laughs> have over the people playing online. Yes. Oh, man, my head is as shiny as that poster. <laughs> <laughs> now we got Ninja playing Val, of course. It's in yes. his name. And that, that's something you expect, right? From Ninja Please, you are going to see Valentine. And mm -hmm. I'm very excited to see um, Xenon's parasol here operate. Playing the patient game. This is kind of how this matchup goes. Yeah. And Just, yeah. Uh, eat, yeah, nice. Form, very nice grab. Each out. Into the corner, not giving him a lot of options here. Let's see where this reset goes. Oh, very, the classic. The air throw. Right, one more. All right, going to be across. Oh, almost back dashes into set. Oh, grabs him again. My hands will grab. <laughs> That's the thing about Valentine's Ooh, back. That's leaves her there. Her. Can avoid stuff like, like that. Oh! Didn't avoid that overhead. Though. Axe kick the dome. And here comes Double coming in. Oh, oh. chops. Not looking Throw. too good. Just getting thrown. Oh, Throw my city. God. Zenon is inside the nice head. block. Oh, finally, we're back to neutral. Gets right, a hit. Finally got a hit. And now it's Zenon's time to experience some pain. Zenon in the corner. But as Double, you don't really want them to be in the corner often. I got all that meaning. I got four whole bars. Gonna spend it. Nice. No, I'm just gonna get Patience. hit by the slide. But did you check the blocking go? Did you check all that defensiveness into a good assist call for the kill? Oof. All of a sudden, it's five meters with pain wheel almost. I kind of messed up the setup. It's all on a pain wheel. Are we gonna see a level three? You're gonna see uh, install. We're not gonna see any of that. Not gonna see nothing. Okay. So many options to spend that meter as pain wheel. There's the hit. I okay. expect the level three. Honestly, you can actually kill just Parasol do the level three. Right here. Oh, the no. combo drop. Now, they're both in Illinois. This is a pretty good connection compared to that, that other one. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, uh, we can't 
We can rule out like uh, connection issues here. Oh no! Not quite, Usually not quite. that works, but at that space thing, that it's too far. It's just mm -hmm. too far. Couldn't tell you the exact amount of frames, but the invulnerability did not reach that distant uh, double. Yeah, it just wasn't quite close enough. And for how long Ninja has been playing, I feel like they should be more aware. You should, of, probably uh, should have known that that yeah. wasn't close enough. There also wasn't a ton of options. The level three actually might have reached, but by that time, Ooh. probably would have been blocking. And meanwhile, Zenon gets hit by two cross-ups in a row. <laughs> oh, no. Into, Into a hard knockdown. hard knockdown. Blocking the assist, and gets Ooh! hit by another one. The original rolling, okay, don't see another one. Nice block. Wow. Not many Valance Plan players use that uh, backdash into forward dash overhead. But, uh, Ooh, PPG Seen the jabs! Good stuff! Oh! Tag into double? Yeah. Wow, what side? Are you going to do it again? Oh, that nice was block. a little too, yeah, a little too Ooh. seeable, but still gets it on the Same inside side. with the assist. This will be a kill. Oh, no, drops! Are you going to DHC? you absolutely going to DHC himself safe. Oh, no! Hey, I mean, that was a lot of oh, meter. Oh, no! Okay. Did you got the hit? My goodness gracious. Nice! No run under, but oh, in fact, wow. the same side. Painwell made double go the wrong way. All right, having a bit of a gunfight here. Yeah, it's kind of spacing each other out. Then the assist No! To I didn't something. even know that was going to happen on that side. I'm not gonna Oh, never mind. Doesn't spend the meter. <laughs> Drops greedy, it twice, greedy. but still gets the kill. All right, here comes the solo parasol comeback right here. Right. So with if building four meters inside this combo means essentially you get one hit and oh. it's over. So right, basically you can go level one, level one, or you could just oh. drop it. Why not? I please this kill. This might not work. Okay, no. Parasol is tall enough. Sometimes if you do fridge in the car, they bounce up too high for the car to <laughs> right. hit. All right, there we go, there we go. All right, 1-1, so, one, one, tied up. Yeah, and that was a pretty convincing one, keeping all three characters, but Ninja had the kill from the hit, didn't actually follow through on the combo, dropped it there. That was very unfortunate. With four meters, of course, you can go level one, level one, level three. That would have been more than enough to kill. Mm -hmm. A lot of players just are not spending their meter to kill this tournament. All right, here we go. Same exact round start as before. Story is facing each other out. Usually the player with uh, the least amount of patience here loses, but <laughs> Zenon went in and actually got the hit. Oh, no. I guess uh, going to be oh, safe. Oh, what? You got Just hit? got hit? You got what? hit, Ninja. I don't understand, but okay. That's not what you wanted. <laughs> All right. Zenon probably killing this. Never oh, mind. another drop <laughs> in the meter expenditure. In to get the hit. You know what? It's worth it if you get the hit. Mm -hmm. Anything for a hit. I can hear Noah coaching right. from here. Noah's saying good, slow good it down. Take Be it patient. easy. Very nice. Oh, no. Oh. A little bit of a drop there. Hey. Nice, Aerith, though. Into the corner. Very nice. All right. There's going to be some character kind of coming in. Going for the cross up. Yeah. Cross nice. up on the in same the low. side. Get gone. Actually, snapping the, the Valentine. Oh, Ooh. no. Push lock guard cancel. Good peanut butter. Wow, the blocks. That was like. You only level four, and then <laughs> still knew what to what to do here. Living inside the head, inside your head. <laughs> oh! oh, from a distance, no conversion. I right, saw so sometimes when uh, Valentine players just do random bypass like that, it'll cross. Nice off. green vial making it all possible. possible. Oh! oh! Yeah, you can't block that. <laughs> That's the unblockable. <laughs> Oh, oh no. no, we're rolling and building tons of meter here. This could be disastrous. I, I think Ninja's going to go for a burst bait, and I would have oh, got hit. Oh, and of course, we have enough meter to end it right here and now if there's no combo drop. Goes for the green vial, because why not? Might as well. And going for install into level one, hopefully. Yes. <gasps> not dead! You. Not dead! You. Son oh, okay, of a, okay, okay. Son of a Saskatoon. That was, that was, uh, there were several better <laughs> options there. They were not exercised, but thankfully still gets the round. Ninja Please coming out ahead on that one. A lot closer there, but there were a couple just extremely tricky mix ups mm -hmm. and resets at the end that Xena was unable to block. So a lot of the defensive pressure when Xena's found himself in the corner has been uh, like successful. It's doing amazing blocks, but those, that was, that, that was a, and a bit of an ascension, if you mm -hmm. will, for Ninja. Those resets were pretty tricky. And then playing real careful right here. 
Tries to go over the air throw. Doesn't work. Zenit is right just not the being arms. patient. He's going in against Valentine. Going in. And you don't want to do that in the Valentine Ferris match. There's the block. Back to neutral. And there uh -oh. you go. Just stay back. Be Play calm. patient. Looking to reach out and touch. Let Ninja make the mistake. Do not go in. <laughs> <laughs> we got multiple coaching angles here. Everybody's in his ear. Here, do this. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we, we're back up to All right, range do gun four. Shot right now. Do gun. Dude, just shoot him. Just shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> what do oh, okay. So oh, there's there you the go. Yeah, Been looking for that all round. We're at 66 skull seconds. That's no! the first clean hit. Just, just do your combo, <laughs> please. <laughs> just do your combo. There we go. Right, there you go. DHC slide. Nice. Yeah, put him in the corner. Into the corner. Do not call Ferris. I'll let that, <laughs> let that character recover health. No, oh, no. my God. Nice you're going to give me a heart attack. All right. Got enough meter here. Can get the kill. All right. Please send oh, it. No. no. Online. Oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you doing? That's it all in a cup of the queen's best tea. He still got a chance. Just do car. <laughs> Just car DSC. Car. car. <laughs> No. All right. Oh, oh the no, land cancel. A pixel away the from chipping. The land cancel. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, okay. There you okay, go. Okay, there okay. you go. Now, the ratio's all right. The ratio's all right. There's oh, the hit. Nice. Do not go for Fight a reset. Fight life. Push him. No. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. And again, going to build two meters here inside of this combo. Oh. But does the throw reset? Okay, this, I this, this is a kill. This right, is going to be a kill. Absolutely going to be a kill. Please, please, please spend the meter. No, nothing but a kill. No! no! Okay, oh! let's go. Let's go. It doesn't matter. Oh, oh get the hit! Stay alive! Oh, nice block. First so block on a cross up there. Do not want to let Ninja get that five and get in, and get in range. I think both characters are in the corner right now. Oh, now so. he's back by his characters. Nice block. Don't do anything. Oh, ah, ah! All right, careful with that double assist. Don't get any happy birthday. <laughs> oh. oh, no, no, no. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I can't see who's the leader right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no! Yes! Go for air throw. Dash up air throw. I get cats. All Chip right, them out. Right, Let's we go. control the neutral. You got it. This I'm is the neutral control. You got it. Hey! All right. Oh! No! Oh, no! Two no. seconds left. Is this enough? Is this enough to change the leader? You gotta spend the oh. meter to get the leader. Time out! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> All according to plan, he says. <laughs> so Zenon knows exactly how to play now. <laughs> right. <It's> had <laughs> Full download achieved. <laughs> had enough time to adjust to Ninja here. All right, this is what I like to see. This is the kind of play I like to see in the Valentine Parasol matchup. Got to be careful. Play patient. Do not let Val call an assist. Keep those tears on screen. That was supposed to be an air dash. Then I got lucky. They messed up there. Oh, I expected a pillar. All right. No clean hit there. Oh. So, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Nice. Oh, nice. the overhead over there. All right. Watch out. He's going to go for super DHC. Ooh. Oh. But not if you cross up the You inputs. got the meter. You got the meter, good sir. Please spend it. Yeah. And a little bit of Undizzy left. That optimal Ooh. damage on the super. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, Ninja. Uh oh, is down a whole character. Then he can just play completely safe here. Right, and the ratio is a good thing for Zine indefinitely. Mm -hmm. Oh, gotta be careful dashing in nice. against he's double. He's oh, the gunshot makes it real. There's oh, the get pillar. in the corner. No DHC in the, the double there. Nice block. Push that guy cancel. Land cancel. Yes. Nice. Yes. Great the land throw. cancel off that jump was going to make that actually punishable. <laughs> oh, no. Ninja nice stop reset. blocking Never mind. entirely. Oh. oh. The tear. Oh. oh. Anti air overhead. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. Oh. Spend the meter. 
Shoot him! <laughs> Just shoot him! I don't shoot him. <laughs> hey! <laughs> and this is the difference that an offline setting makes. <laughs> Zenit actually had crowd support. Big ups mm -hmm. to the, the drafters up there, sending it from on high. Mm -hmm. Gotta give it to them. <laughs> So excellent matchup back and forth. Let's talk about some of the good defensive options we saw mm -hmm. and some of the missed opportunities. So I thought Zena's defense in the first like couple matches was really incredible. Yeah. But getting blocks that I would have suffered a hit to much earlier in that string, managed to fight his way out of those bad back to the wall situations and eventually gave himself space to come back. But let's talk about a few things that almost didn't go Zena's way. <laughs> what do you think happened? Well, Zenon got a little bit impatient at the start. Just had to, his hand itched to go in and try to hit him as soon as possible. And that, that kind of lost him a few games here and there. Yes, absolutely. And it, it, it's one of those things that you actually have a lot of familiar with in that matchup because you were a very, uh, very dedicated Valentine player for a long time. So you mm. understand what it meant to try to play that zoning game against somebody who wants to be patient enough. You're waiting exactly. for somebody to get impatient enough to run into those dead crosses, to run into those savage bypasses, mm -hmm. to, to, to make a mistake. And the patience is what will make Valentine's extend further and further and further, try to open them up. Entire game plan is that in that matchup is just playing the parasol player myself, because you both want to be full screen until, until you're not. <laughs> until you're not. You're right. You want to lose until you win. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Put it in simpler terms. That's how it is. <laughs> That's how it is sometimes. <laughs> oh, there we go. Then with the uh, the poor spacing there on the pillar. Yeah, and this was very weird. The fact yeah. that that, that hit I'm not was, really sure why that yeah. hit, but hey, you yeah. know what? Might have pushed the button <laughs> or, well. or started just And then just got super. hit by that level three. I don't that, know. Uh, that was that was just a combo job. Highly, though. highly odd. I mean, for that hail mary to actually go through, it to make it that close. Yeah, that was crazy. And what's crazy is if if Ninja had had one more meter, <laughs> that likely might have gone completely different. Yeah. It was this close to having another meter. Is the offline experience a uh, difference? That's what that uh, that sliver of life represented. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, also just a really, really strong finish. So Zenin looked really good in that last one. When mm -hmm. it came down to Zenin to close this one out, looked probably the strongest set one of that. If Zenin's exactly. confidence was up, the awareness of how to play, the experience success in the prior round meant, okay, I know what I need to do. You were completely right. Actually, Zenin did know how to play the rest yeah, of the match. Yeah, there we go. And we got MP Game and Claw Master, two names that I'm familiar with. Hey? Oh, man, speaking of familiar, <laughs> let's MP talk Game, about a well-known uh, PS4 player. Yes. Always and, like in the mean streets of PSN there. Yeah, and Clawmaster, longtime uh, community figure, helping out spread message of tournaments and just mm -hmm. general awareness, helping run, uh, I believe, the Molly account, and also just doing some TOing in the background at various key points. So yeah. really cool that we have, again, names from bygone era still <laughs> here to enjoy some Scopus. And we see another Valentine player. So in case you are an aspiring Val player, MP Game is definitely one of the people you want to watch here. I think you're playing uh, Val Beam. I don't even want to say Val Robo, Val Beam. Because uh, that beam does so much for Val. With Val's fast run speed and great air mobility, you can just throw that beam out and win neutral, basically. Although Clawmaster is doing a great job not letting that happen. Actually, hitting Robo. As you can see, Robo has like 25% of her health gone already. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, nice! That same side that. overhead. That's the trickster move. Oh! oh MP game, you dastardly devil. Get it? Fukuo says, let's battle set up for so many kind of resets there that you wouldn't have otherwise. Yeah, got the meter here. If you want to, one more reset to save it. If I went by, yeah, going for the optimal combo here. Just gonna have to send one bar. Yeah, very, very nice. And Squiggly's down, all down to Big Ben. Big Ben against Robo Beam Assist, probably not the best position. Man, the pressure. I think that Fuku Gravis is also grabs him out of armor too. Oh! oh! So that might have been an autocorrect level one. <laughs> if it works, it works. If it works, it if works! Big Ben, you had three bars, it doesn't really matter which super you're doing. Right, <laughs> right. You think Big Ben even cares? Oh! oh! 
Of course, we got Big Man versus Robo and Puko. Two uh, notoriously bad matchups rough. for him. That's rough. <laughs> Puku by itself is tough, and Puku with Beam, just forget about it. <laughs> forget about it. Uh, what? Oh, okay, this is the chance All right. that Claw has to need. Alright, Claw. Alright. Gonna go for a reset, or just gonna keep it simple? Oh, it's just hit! Oh, man. So that jump high kick Puku does is not an overhead, but the jump high punch afterwards is. So that's gonna be a little bit tricky. <laughs> Oh man, so I mean that was a that was a really really strong game from MP Game. Mm -hmm. You correctly using multi hitting moves to punch through armor in the rare situations that it was in play, but also just being aware of how to layer hits in a way the big man, or at least uh, Claw's big man was not able to sufficiently deal with. Mm -hmm. I think a couple of judiciously mashed DPS might have <laughs> might have worked, but uh, you know you just kind of gambling that's at that point. That's kind of Monday morning quarterbacking. At least for the first game, you want to play a little more more conservative to see how the other person yeah. reacts. And Don't whatnot. bet too hard in that first when you're right. Mm -hmm. Man, but shout-outs to the people in the stream. Uh, excellent to see you guys hanging out with us today. Remember to tell your uh, your abuela, your old mom, <laughs> your grandmama and them, just let, get them in here and, yeah. and let's hang out and watch some Skullgirls. You don't want to miss this hot Skullgirls action right here. <laughs> right, Clown Master changing his colors. Maybe that'll make a difference here. Oh! They crossed up! Somehow. <laughs> oh! I don't know what side that was on. <laughs> I'm going to go for another reset. Very and nice. With all those cross-unders and cross-ups and... Whatever else, he decides to go for a throw for the last one. Yep, yeah, could be able to finish this one if so chosen. Alright, and that should be it for Oh, nice reset. Twiggly is a small character. That does happen sometimes. You gotta you gotta just know. Yeah, it's every once in a harvest moon. Oh, oh! that's it for the big band. The that's a level three bet. poison. Never the mind. Uh oh. So level three poison does not go away on hit, so even though you got that air throw there, big band was still poison. Still six and nine. Uh, not that it's mattering much right now. Oh, nice parry. We gotta see a lot more of those, though. Oh, what? push card, guy cancel air throw. What? Hey, PBGs. Oh, no. I don't know if Claw Master's going for a reset or what, but he's kind of messing stuff up here. Let's hope he doesn't do it on this last combo here, because he needs to kill this character. I don't know what he's doing. He's trying to, like, bait out a super dread, like, just blocking or something, but... <laughs> he has, he's just eating a DHC. <laughs> you now he has to get in against Robo. Got a parry. Not a good position to be in. Got two parry. No All time. right, so MP game definitely pulling ahead a little bit on that one. It seems like it, a lot to do with the team comp, mm -hmm. right? So right now it doesn't seem like Clawmaster, how, how they're bringing out that particular shell, is working at all against the game plan that MP game is working. And MP game has been doing this game plan for a long time, so you're not going to really see too many drops, which is unfortunately what we saw. Uh, on on Clawmaster side, there yeah. were some weird situations where you that amazing PBGC into air throw Just into nothing, anything, into yeah. nothing, <laughs> into not a damn thing. That was really tragic to see because that was such a good little moment showing that he clearly knows what to do, but then, not what to do afterwards. Yeah, what, what, your what hands, do you do after the you next step? Gotta make your, your <laughs> floppy meat bag hands do what you want them to do <laughs> after that. Yeah. It can be hard to react to something that even you didn't expect to get. Oh, okay. And then Clawmaster gets the first hit. This is looking pretty strong, actually. Bounce time might go down early. That's, that that didn't right there, happen. though. That's <laughs> oh, the same no. thing. It, uh, something good into what? Nothing. Oh. <sighs> that Fuku is just saving him. Oh, no. Fuku is still there. I actually blocked that time. Nice. Kind of got hit in the air there. I think he did push by yeah. guy cancel into the accident, so get hit. That was a sensual combo. I like the way that that the rhythm. <laughs> yeah, Valentine combos always have a nice rhythm to them. <laughs> oh, there's that Fuku assist. You can't really do anything out of a, a Valentine block string with that Fuku assist coming. At least it's not as big band. A lot of his defensive options rely on armor and whatnot, and that that was both to it. Yep. Just can spend a lot here. Can spend a lot here. And DC, this mic, oh, it's gonna be really, really close. It's gonna be close enough where oh, it doesn't it's gonna really be, matter. It's gonna be more than enough if you go. fall for the burst fade. <laughs> you had to expect the burst fade at the end yeah. there. And again, for anybody who's not familiar, I mean, that that falling, the, the falling velocity of heavy kick from Fuku is pretty fast. It, you'll see it a lot. Of, straight you, down. You'll see it a lot. A heavy kick will often spell a successful burst fade as she just gets right under you. You're not a huge character like Big Van, so a guaranteed burst fade almost every time. Yeah. 
So, I mean, whether it be online, whether it be a little bit of rust, maybe it, it be that they already opened their bottle of Jack today. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I do know that there were some really good moments, clean hits, good defense, amazing PPGC yeah. offered up by Claw that would just go into Jack Diddley and or squad, right? Not a whole lot of action on those amazing moments, which is so unfortunate because you could see the, the kernel of, of skill and desire in there. It just did not translate into results. Maybe. NBA game just too strong. You can't make mistakes against people like NBA. It could be tournament nerves. could be something else. could just be, you know, sleep that day. Who knows? <laughs> right? Maybe you woke up early and or late on the <laughs> wrong side of the bed with the sun in your face. I don't I don't know. Yeah, maybe you had a window open right. sun blaring in his eyes. There. Exactly. Who, who yeah. knows? Cat got out. You're stressed. You know? See, the thing is, neither Claw Master or MP Gamer are sitting in front of us right now, so we just don't know. We can't know. It's an unknown We variable. can't know. <laughs> we can't know. It could have There could have been the fix-in, right? Could be Mafia action. We don't mm -hmm. know what happened. Either well, we, way. Someone we do have here is Adivas, and they're stepping up to the plate right now against Full Bleed. Very nice. And this is actually a match that you would see in a place like Frosty, which <laughs> I desperately hope successfully pops off this January. I'm very excited to get back in the saddle on that one. I would mm -hmm. be so, so cool to finally be back in first. Obviously, safety is paramount in all cases, and the TOs are always prioritizing that. I just hope that the situation does allow for it, because I would love to be back in Frosty and see two players like this. This is an actual match. Illinois and Missouri, right? We have seen yeah. both these players at Frosty, at Comal Raker, at various Pretty events. Much every time yeah. they're in a turn together, they will fight. They will eventually get there because they're really quite good. This is a this is a really good matchup in most situations. I think it's possible that Full Bleed may be slightly more up to practice, but again, mm. I'd have to really dig. I'd have to <laughs> do Adivis a bit of an interview. Adivas was looking pretty strong the first time we yeah. saw him. Adivas was absolutely looking pretty not too, not too shaky, right? Mm. But I think there may be an instance of Full Bleed's been playing at a lot of SGCS events. Maybe has less, less rust to shake off, right? It's, yeah. it's just, it's just, it's a slight, slight issue, maybe. And again, maybe not. Maybe not at all. Maybe not at all. Rodriguez has the offline factor. He has the crowd behind. <laughs> the crowd, the tr the the training uh, <laughs> hookup. He can call the the Noah assist at mm -hmm. any time, <laughs> right? <laughs> if he's available. Right. Not saying there right now, but who knows? Oh, never there, mind. Yeah, Speak right. of the devil. The, there the he Noah is. The Noah assist came off cooldown, so we can uh, possibly call it there if we need it. <laughs> yeah, Noah got snapped out and had to go get something to drink. Nice. <laughs> All right, I think we can do this match, and then we may have a little bit of commentary switch out. Mm -hmm. uh, but for right now, we are waiting on full bleed. I think. Yeah, man. Full bleed. No way. Adivas showed up. Where's full bleed? Yeah, Adivis, we can see Adivas. Hopefully, no way to be found. There were. <laughs> it is an online tournament. Sometimes you gotta. You don't know where the other person is. <laughs> I just gotta wait. <laughs> you gotta. Went to go take the garbage out. You yeah, never right. know. Exactly. You do never you know. You just don't know. Went to go talk to your financial planner, or <laughs> perhaps your priest. Just, you know, sometimes you've got priorities. <laughs> Stuff comes up sometimes. Stuff comes up sometimes. You know, Golden Girls is on. You can tape it all the way. And that's one of the advantages of having an offline event like this. You do know where every player is for the most part. You can go grab them. Right. So where did, where, where's full bleed? What, what hotel room is full bleed in? Exactly. Gotta get full bleed. That's, we could do that if we if everybody were here. <laughs> full bleed, unfortunately, not here right now. Uh, or are they? Let's see. You can barely see the screen. Uh, Someone's in the lobby. Is it full bleed? It looks like it is. There, there he is. is. And we're counting down. We got about five seconds left. We'll go to character select. See what the action is on this. I think we know we're going to see from a Divas, obviously. And Full Bleed's one of those players that I think it's fairly predictable we're going to be seeing. We're going to be some seeing fortune. some fortune. We're going to see some big band. We're going to see some band. And some Annie, too. Yes. Surprising. Annie's a very strong character, so Full Bleed switching over to Annie is expected here. Yeah, and I think that's something you'll see a lot. Um, until until some adjustments are made, if and when, I think you're going to see most top tournament tier players investigating the Annie conundrum at some level. And actually not playing Big Man, playing uh, Eliza instead. Sticking with the Halloween theme, picking the skeleton assist. Absolutely. That's what I like to see. Spectacular. Oh. Right, Adivas, not afraid to play lame here. Nope. Not afraid to keep pushing out. No. Unfortunately, it's one of those characters you just cannot keep out. <laughs> it's so hard to, to shoot tear shots and avoid that head and everything else, as we can see here. And he was just getting hit. Oh! A little too far for that head to hit. Great awareness to not throw the tear shot out. 
knowing that the head will just bite her just Ooh, like that. <laughs> Namification. And actually gets the head in. I think that's go pretty far. And that's it for Parasol, probably. No, actually, never mind. Fulvi uh, doesn't uh, have the bar. Uh. Oh! Nice, Ooh. I stand correctly. Fulvi nice, can finish Ooh. the combo. Too. Ooh! Oh! He just not comparing that jump high kick air to air. All right, a little bit of wacky drop oh, there. Oh, that head's gonna hit. Never Ooh, mind. Ooh, with the added the damage smart from the DLC. head, that's a dead, oh, dead Oh no! And getting hit. What's the mix up gonna be? Actually, flies in the air, calls the squiggly assist to go low, and full bleed was ready for it somehow. Oh! <laughs> Alright, there you go. Can you go. Nice. Big conversion oh, no! is what I would say. Oh, can't block. Cross of poison. Going for the optimal and stuff here. Not gonna go for a mix up range. You know, straight in the super. Might not, not kill. Not quite. Probably gonna see a DC right here. Or oh! just call Big Ben. Sure. Right into Big Ben's loving arms. And that's it, Brandy. We're gonna see a tag or something? Yes, we are. Get that red life back. Although there's not too much red life to recover, it's still worth it to tag out. A little bit, right? So you can get chipped out immediately. Just in case. <laughs> it lets you call the assist a few more times, and that's good enough. That's what we got to fire assist right there. Oh, this is scary. Oh, this is gets scary. The hit very this is a spooky nice. skeleton. Oh, skeleton's Ooh. back at it again. Oh, no! Oh, oh actually got hit from like half screen. Oh, Hopefully my not goodness gracious. <sighs> oh. oh, that, was, <laughs> that, that was, was something. Yeah, that was Tragic City magic at the end because that was. That was not how he wanted that to go. At yeah. all. At <laughs> all. It seemed there were so many weird moments in the last 10 seconds of that match yeah. that just kept back and forth. I see how they adjust here. He's kind of calling out Parasol. Full fleet does the smart thing and immediately gets rid of the head to not have to deal with that Parasol zoning. And gets the hit for it. Very smart move. Oh! That head might mess it up. Oh, no. Head does not mess it up there. Oh, the first thing, oh. first thing is nothing though. The spacing is a little bit off. Yeah, I think it even meant to do a normal <laughs> jump and not a super jump that might have messed it up. Oh, Smart Vegeta has just hit the head. Use the rocket jump to uh to avoid Fortune's vengeance. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> Try to keep it safe with the head, but Divas has seen that since day one. They're ready for it. And you can hit right here. Oh, how do you block that? The rising overhead into the low assist. I didn't even see what hit him there. There, <laughs> no. there was a reset somewhere in there. There was. I saw the combo counter go away and <laughs> then come back, but I don't know what happened. And all down to Elias. Full bleed, I think, is, if he loses this one, he's going to switch back to his older he might team. Go, yeah, he might go over level. Not able to achieve a hit there. Oh. Yeah, he was playing really patient, not throwing out tears mindlessly. Doing very uh mind I guess. Oh, there's a hit, hit the Not good. So much meter here. Ah, that's three whole bars. Yep, it's the on deck. Finish the combo. Just spend the bar. Ah! What are you doing? Just spend the bar. <laughs> not now. <laughs> kind of late now. Bro, that's not the bar I was talking about. All right, whatever it works. <laughs> Shows over. Oh my god. <laughs> that he was he was like a dinosaur. It was ten seconds late. He's like, what? Spin the bar? Okay, I got it. I got it. I'm in there. <laughs> Alright, hopefully going with solo fortune right now. Not what I ever expect, but uh you know, sometimes you just gotta go solo. Sometimes you gotta break out the solo fortune. Right, of course, so Solo's dealing with a life game mechanic. That might be working in Fully's benefit. And also just the enormous amount of damage, right? One reset can spell disaster if you're optimal. Of course, the disadvantage of Solo's is what you're seeing right here. They have no uh, defensive options that you have with assists or DHCs or anything. So it can be kind of tough once you get hit. And heads off. Yeah, heads off means she no longer has an invincible DP either. And Fully has not left this corner this entire game. Until nice. right now, that could where he's going to get quite the snap. Big. There oh, we go. No. Speaking of snaps. Advantage is dead. Melted in two seconds. Right, got a little life back and got a character okay. kill. 
And Full Blade's Fortune is getting hit once again. Still in this corner. Somehow killed the character without leaving the corner. Right? <laughs> Stays in the corner somehow. Got that. And the life uh, situation not at work in Full Blade's favor right now. Definitely going down, down, down. Almost five bars. So we're going to see something here. Can spend the meter just to hit the head? Might be a good idea. Oh. Gets the corner again. Oh! oh! Liver Mortis. The read into nothing though. Right. Doesn't really pay off. <laughs> into not a dang thing. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna hit level three. That's it. Nice awareness to know that the level three is gonna combo into the squiggly orb and to wait to finish the combo there. And the head. Oh my goodness has gracious one me. One chain to work with. Is that gonna be enough? No. No. Oh, oh this, this could be it. Can build me? Snap right here. Snap right here. Yes. Yeah, Fulvey gonna get a little bit of life back here. It could be enough to take the game. Like solo characters are explosive once they get the hit. Push. Ever so close, one opportunity. In the neutral game here, I think uh, Divas Oh no, the, the head advantage. getting blown up! Yeah, the head is removing all that red life. Fulvey just healed. Oh. oh! And just gets hit by the assist. Divas oh. takes it really clean. And that Adidas looking oh so strong, man, mm -hmm. with the clean sweep. Yeah, really. Whew. I mean, to get a clean sweep there <laughs> I is, guess full is, of all is people something too. else. So, all right. I think, uh, is it time for a commentary switch? Is that what we're looking at? Or is that six? I'm not sure. All right. We're going uh -huh. to give it just a moment. We're going to give it just a moment. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Man, it's a tough for the matches we had already. We've had some clean sweeps that were unexpected, some really close matches, some drops, some spaghetti on the floor, <laughs> uh, and, and some right, and some and some theme music almost. I mean, Pete Weave is some really good players, and it's only going to get better from here. We're going to take a short break, and we'll join you back in just a moment. See you later.